Hola a todos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today, we will complete the article topic with the indefinite article or artículos indefinidos as we call in Spanish. Empecemos. Before watching this video, I would recommend to you to watch my last video as I explain here the definition of the articles. Now, let's start a diagram of the indefinite articles. We will also classify the indefinite articles according to their gender and number. This is even easier than the definite article, so here we go. For the male words in singular form, we have un. For example, un perro, un cuaderno. Now, Spanish is one of the few languages that have a plural form for the indefinite articles. For male words in plural form, we use unos. Sometimes it could be translated by the word some. For example, unos gatos, unos anillos. In some cases, we could translate them into some cats, some rings. For female words in singular form, we have una. For example, una botella, una planta. For female words in plural form, we have unas. For example, unas novelas, unas camisas. As some remarks, I would like to say that as any rule, we have some exceptions. There are some nouns that doesn't have a singular form, so we could use only unos or unas no matter we talk about one or many of them. For example, unos viveres, unas gafas. Now, let's review the cases in which we use the indefinite articles. There are basically three situations. When we talk about something uncertain, for example, José es un amigo de Pedro, which means José is a friend from Pedro. In this case, we use the indefinite article as Pedro must have many friends and José is just one of them. To express something mentioned for the first time, for example, Julio ha comprado un libro, which means Julio has bought a book. In this case, as this is the first time Julio has a book, we use the indefinite article. To express existence, usually after the verb haber, for example, hay una televisión en la sala, which means there is a TV on the living room. To finish this lesson, we will do some exercises so we could practice both, this one and the previous lesson. Now we will do the following exercises. According to what we have learned, we must choose a definite or an indefinite article in the right form. Mi hermano es actor muy conocido. This means my brother is a very famous actor. This is something ascertained because there are many actors in the world. So we would use an indefinite article. The singular form for the male noun is un. Rusia es país más grande del mundo. Or Russia is the biggest country in the world in English. This is something unique, as there is only one biggest country in the world, so we use the definite article. Country is a male noun, so we use the singular form, el. Tráeme dulces, por favor. This means, bring me some candies, please. A little clue, dulce is a male noun. As we will have these candies for the first time, we use the indefinite article. In this case, we use the plural form, unos. Malo es que no tengo dinero, or the bad thing is that I don't have any money in English. Remember that when we transform an adjective into a noun, we always use the neutral article lo, which hasn't any plural form. Hay niñas en el parque, which means there are some girls in the park. The verb haber, which expresses existence, come along with the indefinite articles. And niñas is a female noun in a plural form, so we use unas. Amigos de mi hermano ya están afuera, which means the friends from my brother are already outside. In this case, we must have had previous references about my brother's friend, so we use the definite article. We use los because this is the plural form for the male noun amigo. Y listo. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, just leave your comment below. And if you like this video, thumb up 
and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.